Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again. And in this episode, we will be making a paracord germ grenade. And as much as I'd like to say it's something you can just throw at germs and make them explode, it isn't. But what it is, is that it's a great way to be able to get easy access to your hand sanitizer bottle when you need it. Using a bit of paracord and a carabiner, you'll be able to clip your hand sanitizer to your bag or even your belt loop. That being said, let's get into it. To do this project, I'm using burgundy paracord, a carabiner, a thinner cord like type 90, you can use microcord too, and my hand sanitizer bottle of course. And I know you all know what brand this is, but no free ads on this channel. Also to make things a bit easier, I'm going to slightly melt the working ends of my cords so that they're easier to work with and not need to use any of my fids. To start this off, I'm going to tie a single snake knot at the midpoint of my cord by taking the right side cord and making a clockwise loop around the other cord. From there, take the left cord, bring it around the right side and go through the first loop created. I'm not going to cinch it up just yet. I'm next going to take the snake knot loop and loop it around the top of my hand sanitizer bottle and tighten the knot. From there, we're going to bring the cords down and around the bottom of the bottle. To make things easier, I'm going to secure the cord to the bottle with a hair tie or a rubber band. Now working on the opposite side of the bottle, I'm going to tie a single cobra knot about three quarters up the way of the bottle. I'm going to make a clockwise loop, pass the cord over the two core strands. Then with the left side cord, go over the right cord and pass it behind the core strands and out the loop on the right side. Then tighten up that cobra knot. Next, I'm going to turn the bottle around and take the right side cord and go under the core strands to the other side. And then the left side cord goes below the opposite cord, over the core strands, and then under the loop on the right side. The first knot will be a little finicky to stay in place. Then we're going to go back to the opposite side and do the exact same step. The right side goes under the core strands. The left side strand remains below the right side, go over the core strands and then under the strand on the opposite side. So that is essentially the pattern that you're going to repeat moving down the length of the bottle. The key to getting this pattern to look good is not to pull too tight on the cords. The sides especially need to sit slightly angled and if you pull too hard it will flatten out and not look very good. Once you've made your way down the bottle and you've run out of cord, you can simply snip and melt the ends where they are. If you want to cover more of the bottle, you can always add more cord, of course. Be careful when melting the cord near the bottle as you don't want to damage the plastic on the bottle. Now we're going to attach our carabiner and with a bit of 90 cord, you can also use micro cord or gutted 550, I'm going to loop the cord around the carabiner. 
and then with the two ends, pass them behind the two core strands on the bottom of the bottle. I'm going to give myself about a half inch length. If you want to make this longer, you can do so. Once that's done, I'm going to tie some cobra knots, taking the right side over the core, then the left over the right and behind the core and out on the other side. Going to continue this process a few more times. Always make sure you lead with the same strand. And with that done, I'm just going to clip off the excess cords and melt them with my lighter. And there we have it, a paracord germ grenade. This is a pretty useful way to carry your hand sanitizer for quick access. No need to dig through your pockets or bag to get to it. So I hope you've all found this video useful. Hope you all stay healthy and stay germ free. That being said, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you want access to exclusive tutorials as well as our Discord server, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video cards as well as down below. You can join for as little as $3 a month. You can also support this channel by liking the video and commenting. Also, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.